So about a month ago, we built a remote control water bottle rocket. It was our very first prototype, very first test. The, wing, the wings were a little bit too large, and I think it didn't go as well as we were planning. There's a link to it in the description. So uh, we modified the wings, made them smaller. Uh, hopefully, they'll be not only more aerodynamic, but it'll also help uh, make the launch more successful. I do have high hopes for this launch. Hello everybody, today I'm going to be talking about uh, our remote control bottle rocket. Hopefully this will be the first one in history to ever work. Um, as you can see, this is made almost entirely out of water bottles. Uh, this bottom bottle is airtight so we can launch it off of a launcher and hopefully it'll reach uh, hundreds of feet in altitude and our plans for the future are to have it split. So there are three exact uh, parts of the uh, rocket that look exactly like this but they'll function as planes once they split. We'll be able to remote control them and fly them as a remote control plane would. So this is the DX5 remote controller that Abe, Drew, and I are going to be using for the test flights. Um, that is the rudder operating. We use this joystick right here. It's not too complicated. This controls the rudder, moving it left and right, and moving these up and down and left and right control the flaps. The ailerons, uh, elevons, elevons, these are the elevons operating, they can move together or at opposite times in opposite directions. So this launch we built about a year ago. Uh, it should work for several years to come. It's actually a relatively simple design. What you do is you uh, pump the bike pump until the uh, air pressure inside of the launcher increases enough so that we feel like we can launch it. Uh, basically what we do is we pull this trigger. Um, these twisty ties uh, right here will release and Come